Today, we celebrate the bravery of the nearly 6 million service members who fought in Korea and remember the nearly 36,000 service members who never made it home. The Korean War was the first American war in which units were not separated by race, allowing service members, regardless of color, to serve side by side under the same flag. There are countless stories of heroism and patriotism, like that of Demencio Rivera, a Puerto Rican service member who engaged in hand-to-hand -hand combat to protect his unit from an enemy attack, or that of Herbert Pili Laau, a Hawaiian service member who risked his life to ensure his platoon's safety at the infamous Heartbreak Ridge. For their courage, these men were awarded two of the 146 Medals of Honor during the Korean War. We cannot let these accounts of bravery fade from our memory, and we must strive to include them if we aim to tell a complete history of our country's military service, one that recognizes and celebrates the diversity of our nation. The Korean War helped pave the way for a more diverse military, not only because of desegregated units, but because of the inclusion of 120,000 women on active duty, with many more serving in the Women's Army Corps, women in the Air Force, the Navy Women's Reserves, and the Women Marines. In Congress, I have made it my top priority to make sure the Department of Veterans Affairs recognizes the extraordinary diversity of our veteran population, which has become more representative of the country as a whole. It is important that whoever wore our country's uniform can equitably access the care and benefits they've earned.